We are heading back down to Laura at the Vitality Expo in the RDS right now. Laura, have you got your yoga gear at the ready? How's it all going? Well, we're here at the entertainment stage at the Vitality Expo. And there's demos, to, demos should I say, taking place all weekend. We've got Lydia Sass with us now. Lydia, you're familiar to our viewers. You're in with Simon and Anna before. You were doing eye yoga, facial yoga. I missed that one, but they loved it. Oh, Lots of health benefits, but you're going to do a demo with us now. But first of all, you're going to be teaching a couple of classes today and tomorrow. Is that right? Yeah, I'm teaching pregnancy yoga here today and tomorrow, 4.15 till 5 today. Okay, well obviously I'll be missing that one, yes. but you are going to teach me a couple of poses in a few minutes. I found it really interesting that you also teach children's yoga. Is this becoming a thing and why should we consider it for our children? I think that yoga is really important at all ages and for me it starts when you're pregnant and then it carries on postnatally. When we bring kids in they learn how to regulate their emotions from really young so they get those tools to help themselves when they feel too angry or they have big emotions that they can't deal with and yoga gives us those tools. I feel like if we had that from a really young age we'd be in a much better standing when we become adults because we all have tough time with our emotions still I even think now. every parent watching this would say, I need that for my child, or at least to give them the tools or to give ourselves the tools to help them yeah. calm down a little bit when they need to. Because certain times when they're small and they're toddlers and they have these frustrations, they don't know how to vent them. No, I know. And I think a lot of stuff for kids, they feel out of control. And anything they can do where they feel like they have a little bit of that control is really important. And yoga gives them that. They kind of latch onto it. They know, if my tummy's sore, I can do this pose. If I'm feeling angry, I can do lion pose. And they feel like, okay, I can take that control back. And anyone who follows your Instagram page will, of course, know that you practice what you preach with your little boy at home as yeah, well. He obviously loves it. But in terms of adults and yoga, yeah. why is it that people tend to turn to yoga and other alternative sort of uh, meditations at this time of year? What is it about September? I think we've had that break of summer. Everyone's had a slightly different routine. People have been on holidays and we've had the lovely weather, but we're now heading into flu season. And so people know their immunity's down, they're back in the offices, windows are closed, there are deadlines looming, only a few days till Christmas, everyone's counting down. And so what happens is people start to get stressed. And as they start to get stressed, they don't cope with their emotions so well. Anxiety levels build, you have a rise of people not sleeping well, and yoga can really help moderate these things. Well, we're going to go into a couple of poses now you're going to teach me. What's the first one? The first pose that we're going to do is eagle pose. And eagle pose is a balance pose. So what's really great about our balance poses is they help to regulate our emotions. So they help balance our hormone levels, they help us to build melatonin, to sleep a little bit better, and they give us single-pointed focus. So a lot of the stress comes from when our mind is just running constantly and it's never stopping. And when we're focused on one point in particular, it gives us that little bit of a break for our mind to switch off and feel a bit more calm. And I would argue as well, I suppose, at the end of a long day, if you've been working hard in an office or elsewhere, when you come back home, you know, you may not necessarily want to go out to a cycling class, spin class, aerobics class, whatever it is that's going to hype you up again. Now, it does suit a lot of people. But I, I can also understand the attraction with just quietening the mind. Well, I think that's the thing is a lot of us who have those go, go, go jobs, we tend to reach for go, go, go exercise because it's our comfort zone. And we think like, OK, if I just work it out, I'm going to feel better. But actually, when we're going all day long, we stay in that stress response, the adrenaline fight or flight system in our body. And we need to use and move into the parasympathetic nervous system and calm stuff down. Right, so let's do the first one. Now. OK, so the first one is ego pose. We're going to put weight down into this foot. OK, we're going to come up onto the toes of this foot and then we're going to cross it over. So if you cross your foot over, we can stay to here. Well, we turn this way. So sure. people at home, if they fancy joining in, So can we're going to so. cross our foot over here, and this is the beginner version. But if you want to take it a little bit higher, you can press the two calves together. Or if you want to go to the full version, you wrap your leg around. And then we're going to bring our arms up and bend them to 90 degrees. And we're going to wriggle the fingers of this hand over here. And we're going to take that hand underneath, elbows sit together. You can bring the backs of the hands together. You can grab a wrist. You can bring the palms together. And then engage your belly muscles and sit down like you're sitting into a chair. Now gaze at the floor and just choose one point to breathe into. That is a stretch. Drop yeah. your shoulders. <laughs> take Are you a breath. Sit down? No, no, you can stay here. And then open your arms really wide like the wings of an eagle. Inhale up. And then exhale, unfold your legs. Okay, so that well is for done. balance. That is for balance and focus, right? Balance and focus. Always good to be focused. Yeah. That's called the eagle. What's the eagle next pose. one? The next one we're going to do tree, which is another balance pose. And it's really one of the ones we think about if you have anxiety, if you have things like depression, if you find that you're not sleeping at night, or even if you're just someone who's finding there's a lot going on in their life, tree pose is a really calming one. It calms our blood pressure. It calms our heart rate. And it's really good for little ones, like we were talking about earlier. Mm. Kids love this one, too. And I like this one as well. You're going to show us what it is now. But can we do this tree pose, let's say, for 
30 seconds in the morning. I mean, if we don't have the time or we're not near a yoga class or we can't go for whatever reason, can we do it ourselves? You can just do it for five minutes. You can do it for two minutes. Okay. Any amount is better than none. And also, if your balance is off, you can do it against a wall with your back behind a wall. So, so you no don't have to here. be perfect. Right, no. <laughs> okay, what so, are we doing? Again, we'll use this leg this time as our standing leg. So if you put all your weight down into here and come up onto the toes of this foot, and then you spin your knee out to the side, and you can rest your foot against the ankle there, or yep. you can rest your foot against the calf, or you can take it up and rest it against the thigh. And you push the foot and the thigh into each other, or the mm -hmm. leg, and rise up from the heart so that the heart lifts. And then we can bring our arms out for balance. Index finger and thumb together. Drop your shoulders. And then take a big inhale through your nose. And exhale slowly through your mouth. And this is one of your little boy's favorite poses. Yeah, he loves it. So this is just to quieten the mind get our balance in check. Yeah, and what you can do is just pick a point on the floor to look at, and that helps to release your mind so that you're focused. And this one I can manage. This is okay. What set. about the next one? Last one before we go. So the next one that we're going to do is called Humble Warrior. It's a forward bend, so that helps us to extend our exhalation. When we breathe longer in our exhale, it moves us into our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our place of rest and digest and healing and calmness. So show us how okay. to do it. So we're going to take our right leg forwards mm -hmm. and our left leg back, both sets of toes pointing towards the top of the mat, and then we're going to bend into our front knee, sit it right above the ankle, bring your hands around behind the hips, interlink the fingers, mm -hmm. pull them away so your heart and chest opens and that's going to release tension from your shoulders and your neck where you hold stress and then we're going to bend down and then we're going to inhale and as we exhale we're going to lean forward so you can just come to halfway well, do you know here. what i actually think i'm going to stop right now okay. because my dignity is about to run out the door so okay. we're going to head back to studio <laughs> and i'll quietly continue this with you and a few of our close friends okay. around here thanks so much Thank lydia you. lovely chatting to my you today pleasure. back to the guys in studio